eight natural ways to give yourself a facial lift at home eight natural ways to transform your skin eight natural way to help you to look younger fresher and brighter a natural way to transform your skin from aged skin to a more youthful natural glow. Today, we're going to share some natural ways to lift, tighten, and firm the skin. This is Weekdays with Chichi, and welcome one and all. So the first thing that we're going to do today is our usual. I've given a few shout out, and Jill is here, Raxon is here, Brooklyn, New York is here, and Lynette is also here. So these are some of the people that is here as soon as the show start. Now, what is a facial lift? Have you ever considered a facial lift? Most people, when they hear about facial lift, the first thing that comes to mind is a medical procedure. That is the first thing that comes to mind. And they are really not wrong because it is actually a surgical procedure to correct these cosmetic concerns and restore a youthful appearance to the skin. Long lasting result is what most people will receive when they do a surgical facial lift. But did you know that you can also do some natural, that you can also practice or do some homemade remedies that can give yourself, your skin, a natural facial lift at home. So that is what we're going to dive into today. We're going to talk about eight ways that you can give yourself a natural facial lift at home. Now, before we get any further, why would anyone need a facial lift? You need a facial lift because as we age, our skin tend to lose the collagen production. Our skin, skin start to sag. We start to see wrinkles and fine lines all over the skin. We get deep wrinkles and crease and even in the jewels. We also have sagging jawline, neckline, and you name it. So that is one of the reasons why we tend to get a facelift just to roll back, just to lift tighten and firm the skin to correct all of that that is going on with aging. However, overexposure to the sun can also cause wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. It can also cause aging skin. It can also cause your skin to look dull. Another thing that affects how you know, we get wrinkles and sagging skin is genetics. So there are factors out there that contribute to all of this. However, in the comfort of your home, nothing is wrong with trying to roll back the years. Nothing is wrong in practicing or actually doing some extra, extra to your skincare routine to give you that natural facial lift. So if you're here today to learn eight ways to lift, tighten, and firm the skin, you're at the right place. Now, who really need a facial lift? Who really need a facial lift? Or who really need a natural facial lip? Now, we all know that there are some people that they, they might have gained a bit of a weight. Some people actually, um, you know, pregnancy and all of that. And also genetics that cause people to look way older or sagging and loose skin that they need to correct. Now, if you were like um, X amount of pounds and you lost a lot of weight, you're going to find that your skin is looking all saggy, all droopy looking, hanging, all of that. I would suggest that if you have the funds to go lift and tighten in a, doing a surgical procedure, it's all up to you. I have no issue with you going that. But for those of us who have minor sagging on the skin and you you know we're just looking to get it looking a little younger we do not need that procedure then we can try these remedies at home now even if you're not seeing sagging skin even if your face is looking healthy and you know just young and fresh these recipes are also good because what is going to happen is that it's going to prevent your skin from looking older it's going to prevent the sagging the wrinkles the droopiness so definitely continue to watch now before we go on let's see who else is here to give some shout out to we have jason we have jackie mom we also have um cynthia we have um gail da um dar 
Dr. Ray. I think this is the first time I'm seeing you on the channel. If you're new here, comment, comment. Dr. Ray, welcome to our live channel and um, our live show that is. If you're just joining and you are new to our channel, go ahead and comment so we could give you a, a shout out. And Cynthia is giving a shout out to all the Chitty Beauties. Now, if you want to be a Chitty Beauty, beauty a part of the chitty beauties community you can also subscribe to our channel if you look below you're going to see the join button you can click on that join button choose a tier and guess what it's as easy as that when you watch our live you notice a different color by your name and you can be any one of the beauties that is listed there now i need to change that a little because i notice now that we have a few um a few male um that are now subscribing i find that i think i saw like about 15. so jason give me a name to that we could actually put in the queue for 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 you guys all right that is something i was thinking about didn't know we have so many males um male members but we do have them they don't come on once in a while one pop up except you might see jason and someone else has always been coming on but they are dear and they are paying so when they do pass through we normally like hi you know how are you doing but um i do need a name for for them all right so we are moving on to facial lip don't know if our comment um thumbnail went out but however we're gonna continue natural facial lift at home eight ways that you can lift tighten and firm that face now the first natural way to do a facial lift at home is one that we do on this channel a lot and that is to use a natural facial mask a facial mask that's going to help to lift tighten and firm the skin a facial mask that's going to help to get rid of sagging jawline a facial mask that's going to help to get rid of the deep parentheses a facial mask that is also going to help to decrease the did i said the parentheses the on the eye wrinkles the forehead wrinkles the jaws the sagging jawline now what are some of these ingredients that we can use to make this facial mask we can use one very popular one which is egg white egg white has been known to lift tighten and firm the skin but how do you really use the egg white to give yourself a homemade facial lip now here is a way that i noticed that when i use this one i see instant result i tend to mix that egg white with cornstarch now how do i do this i use uh, some hot water on that cornstarch you can also use corn flour two different things but it still goes you can actually use a little bit of a flour and what i do i use some hot water and i mix it in that cornstarch if you're using flour it's going to thicken up right away if you're using cornstarch then you might need to let it you know the water be really really hot and if you don't get thick you might need to have to zap it over some you know each source and that is going to get really really thick and gooey and then you take that egg white and you fold it in and no we are not making meringue because that is how you actually make the meringue so you just fold that egg white in that cornstarch and if you want to turn it into even an anti-aging um facial lip you had a little bit of a vitamin a oil in it or rose hip or any of those oils that is rich in vitamin a you mix that up you apply it. you know what i should make over that video you mix it up you apply it on your face and you let it dry on the skin you let it dry on the skin for about 30 minutes after 30 minutes you are gonna rinse off preferably with some cold water and reveal lift firm looking skin now this is one remedy that when you use it you can see instant lift to the skin it is not permanent however with continuous use it will get your face to look more youthful over time but the first time you use this remedy you will notice a significant difference and that is why this remedy is also one that you use if you have a wedding to go to if you have to go meet the in-laws if you have a reunion to go to this is one remedy that will give you that instant lift to the skin now you can also choose to use this at least a week or two before you have that big day and this will help you to look take years 
years off you, at least 10 years off you, just continue to use it with one more clue that I'm going to give to you later on to lift, tighten, and firm the skin. How many of you watching have tried the egg white with the cornstarch? If you have not, let me know because I made a video. I'm going to look for the link, but now I realize that I'm going to make a new one. So I'm just writing it down to make a new one for you with full demonstration all the way till it is dried just to prove my point to you. So that is one quick and easy natural way to give yourself a facial lift at home. Now take a look at rice. That is another ingredient that we're talking about natural facelift mask right now. Take a look at rice. Rice is another ingredient that can give you a natural facial lift at home. And not only that, rice overall is good for the skin. Now, how do you use that rice to give you that facial lift? There's two ways you can use the rice. One, you can choose to blend that rice to a powder, and then you can add like milk to it and make a nice thick paste and use it on their skin. However, the latter, which I'm going to talk about right now, is more effective. Go ahead and get some cooked rice. And once you have that cooked rice, put that rice in a blender, add a little milk to that rice. And if you want to put some other ingredient, like a little bit of a rosy seed oil in it for the vitamin A, go ahead and put it in it. Blend it up and it's going to come out to a creamy consistency. Once that is done, you apply it. When it's cooled, it's going to be really thick. You apply it all over your face, your neck, and your decollete and you leave it there for at least 30 minutes after 30 minutes you're going to rinse that off and you're going to reveal firm looking skin tight refreshing not only that because you use that vitamin a it also really going to have to reduce the wrinkles and fine lines on the skin we're talking about some natural ways that you can lift tighten and firm the skin at home natural facial lift at home if you have a question go ahead and comment and while you're just joining go ahead and give us a thumbs up i do the egg white tea tree and corn start and that is from jason now you want to know why jason had the tea tree because if you have any form of a pimple on the skin tea tree is rich in antibacterial properties so this is make this um mixture really really good for people with problem skin little bumps here or there this is gonna be the best bet for you now let um lynette use both rice how much do i use i have the recipe on the page um lynette i'm gonna look for the video for you so to show you how to do it i think we have several of those masks using the the rice so i definitely search for it and put the link under the video for you beautiful love welcome now if you are just joining give us a thumbs up show some love to the channel we have um Luiga, Luiga Judith watching from Uganda. Welcome to the live show. Now, Jill um, was wondering, let me go back to the top. To I was wondering about that. Uh, Chichi, you have changed a lot. Um, I um, I Chichi, after a long time today. All right, so I'm, I will have to go back up to see what this comment is all about. So, um, I, Jill, love your profile picture yes me too jason and um let's see i'm trying to figure out what the comment is about but i'm not following so anyway let me okay so um so gail is this was the first time and i figure it was because this is the first time i'm seeing your name so welcome to our live feel free to communicate feel free to talk feel free to be a part of the show buzz welcome to the live show um um basha itg after a long time today oh, welcome to the live show you have changed a lot uh oh so you have not been here for a while welcome back and how do i um uh, tell me about the changes that you're seeing is it that i am looking younger <laughs> which i wish that's what is going on or just tell me what what changes um are are you seeing and jill um jason happy monday 
um jill i was wondering about that chichi what were you wondering about i'm trying to follow but i cannot see so let me know um what the conversation is about cynthia yes i was thinking about that is just now wait I'm, I'm i'm at a loss i don't see was it something that i said come in come in come in come in come in and let me see don't know what it is uh oh cynthia okay so cynthia is all the way in connecticut and still logging in and we are so happy that you could we are able to do that all right so we're moving if you're just joining give us a thumbs up just add some tissue paper on it what are you oh yes yes you if, if it's a mask you guys are talking about yes you could add some tissue paper on it also now um basa please explain about the rice and milk face mask the rice and milk face mask is really good for the skin so as i said the cook rice is going to give you more tightening than if you use the you know you just blend the rice however i also do this technique where i blend the rice to a powder and i pour hot water in the blender and blend again and it still give you that creamy consistency it's almost like you off cook that rice with that hot water now when you make this rice mask on your skin the rice you hot the milk if you want to make this method you blend the rice to a part of first do not just put rice grain in a blender and pour hot water or pour any water it's not going to come out how you want it to be it's not going to be that creamy you got to blend it to a powder first once it is blend to a powder then if you want to use the milk use the hot milk pour that hot milk and blend it up like that once you do that it's gonna come out really creamy really nice and once it is cooled then you're gonna apply it on your face apply a generous amount on the face neck and decollete you leave it on and guess what's gonna happen what is gonna happen is that it's gonna dry on the skin and when it is dried on the skin you're gonna feel that tightening sensation like ooh. Ooh, and then you're gonna rinse it off mm -hmm. and that expression is really true however guys let me give you a really quick let me tell you guys something those kind of ex expression like the one i just use i will need to stop okay i will need to stop and you might wonder why do i need to stop even though i am talking about the facial mask and i'm saying how it makes your skin feel and that is the truth when the mask is tight on your skin it makes you feel like ooh ooh yes but i cannot make those sounds anymore because the system is now gonna block any sound that might sound a little off you guys know what i'm talking about any sound so you know how sometimes i used to make the videos and um when i am um, i'm enjoying like the facial mask and i'm like oh yes this facial mask is good like and i put it on my face and i'm like yes and whatever I, i'm scared to do it now we are not allowed to do that anymore however it's good and it's bad it is good in the fact that they also release where we can now talk about let's say the breasts once we do not make it I'm even scared to say the word. But once we do not make it like, oh, we're talking about that sound. <laughs> oh, the system, the system, the system. So I might be able to make now like a remedy that you can use to lift, tighten, and firm the breast. I cannot demonstrate like how I used to demonstrate, but I will be able to make it one more um, like I used to do. However, we're not allowed, and a lot of people, a, like ASMR videos where you use just the sound. I was trying to make a few of those the other day. I'm so happy I didn't dive deeper into it. Those videos are now going to get a backlash because they do have those sounds that they're now going to cut out. Who know where they're going with this next? So I just thought about that when I make that sound just now that I need not to. Now, Elizabeth Wanga, welcome to our live show. Make sure to comment and make sure to ask skincare question if you're just joining maureen samson welcome if you're just joining we are here to talk about 
facial lift natural facial lift at home facial ingredients we're talking about right now that you can use in a facial mask to lift tighten and firm the skin what did you miss we talk about using egg white with um egg white with cornstarch and now we talk about using the rice with milk a facial lift at home is going to give you a temporary lift however with continuous use of these ingredients of these masks on the skin it will help your skin to look younger and fresher now here is another natural way to give yourself a facial lift another natural way is to use facial creams mostly anti-aging facial creams now these creams should be rich in retinol this cream should be rich in retinol. Retinol is derived from vitamin A. So there you have it, guys. Get yourself any form of a cream that is rich in vitamin A. We have a wide variety on this channel. You also have blends of anti-aging oils that are rich in vitamin A. Now, how do you use these anti-aging facial creams or facial oils to do give yourself a facial lift? Here is what you need to do. You need to make sure that your skin is clean. So cleanse your skin thoroughly. When I say thoroughly, I mean thoroughly by washing, steaming, exfoliating to get your skin nice and clean. Then you're going to take this retinal cream and you're going to use it at night. You're going to apply it on your skin at night, but you're not just going to just apply it on the skin. What you're going to do is apply it in circular motion on the skin. Use that retinal cream. Give it six weeks to work. It takes longer than your regular facial mask, but it do get the job done. And before you know it, you're going to notice those fine lines diminishing and your face is going to look a little healthier, a little more lifted. But for me, the trick about that is to use those facial masks, those face lifting masks that I just spoke about. And at night, go ahead and use that retinol or that anti-aging facial cream. And this is like a double whammy. So if you want to transform your skin in a week, if you have somewhere to go to, you want to look so young and fresh, you want that natural face slip at home, you start early. You give yourself like that seven day stretch. And two times for that week, you use the facial mask. You use that skin tightening, whether you're using the egg white or you're using the the um the rice, or uh, we have so many others that we could share. Any one of those you're using, use it two times for that week. And hear what you do for that entire week overnight. Go ahead and use your anti-aging facial cream that is rich in vitamin A, or your anti-aging facial oil blend that is rich in vitamin A. Apply that on your face now here is tip number three maybe tip number four but tip number three is to constantly massage your face massage your face at least once per day will help to give you a natural facial lift at home now the beauty of massaging your face is that this facial lift that you're going to be getting is going to be permanent and what do I mean by permanent? There's no such thing as a permanent facial lift because you're still going to be aged. But I said permanent in the fact that it's not going to go away in a week or two. And if you continue to do this right throughout the time, you're definitely going to have that younger look, younger than your natural age. You're not going to keep reversing where you're going to end up being 50 and look 30, 20, 10 years old it's not gonna go like that but you're just gonna look younger than your age so what you do you take that massage that moisturizer and you massage your face massage your forehead massage your under eyes get rid of the deep laugh line massage your chin area and massage your neck and decollete make it an habit make it a part of your skincare routine once this is a part of your skincare routine you will notice that your face is now gonna look more lifted your face is gonna have less wrinkles and fine lines your face is gonna look firmer and you're gonna have that natural glow that natural facial lip at home and in and that skin tightening 
facial mask, that anti-aging facial cream or facial oil or facial moisturizer, apply it on your skin, massaging it on the skin will help you to give that natural facial lift at home. Any question, comment, comment. And if you're just joining, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and go ahead and ask us any question you have pertaining to lifting, tightening your face at home. Eight ways to naturally transform your skin and give you a younger, youthful appearance. Massage constantly when no one is looking and that is true that's something you can do the beauty about massaging your skin is that you can massage your skin anywhere you really do not have to wait for nighttime to massage your skin you could be at work you sit on your desk and you just grab your hands and massage your face you could be just watching tv you massage your face you could be just doing the laundry standing up waiting for a cycle and just massage your face you can massage your face anywhere lynette is going to a concert on friday so i'm starting today definitely definitely do that farzana welcome to our live you're looking 30 years so nice touch ooh, ooh, um Thank you for that. And I'm um, trying to read um, your comments. So thank you for your comment. And Positive Glow, could you leave the mask on overnight? This is a very, very good one because we were going to go there also. Now, another way, thank you for the question, another way that you can live tighten and firm that skin at home is to wear a skin firming overnight facial mask. A skin firming overnight a facial mask on our channel page if you go on the channel page you're going to find a wide variety of those the rice is also another ingredient that i personally use to make some of those overnight facial masks so yes go ahead apply those overnight facial masks now overnight facial mask is more closer to a facial moisturizer or a facial cream they're not as thick as those regular facial mask that you apply on the skin and you know and get rid of it in 30 minutes these overnight facial masks are much lighter and I wish I have one here to show you but we have several on the channel page that you can check out these masks you put a light coat in and you go to sleep I also make some of these overnight masks using cornstarch these are good you wash your face like you normally do you apply your facial toner and if you have a serum using you can also apply that serum and on top of that you apply that overnight facial mask you go to sleep with it wake up in the morning and rinse with cold water and reveal beautiful looking skin younger lifted firmer reducing wrinkles and fine lines and boots in collagen if you want an overnight facial mask recipe when the show is over come back and look under the video because I'm going to post a link to some of these um, so that you could try at home. Any other question? Let's just go on. If you're just joining, give us a thumbs up. One player, welcome to our live chat. I think we have either one or two with one player. Um, sometime a membership, sometime no membership, but we have, I think it's another um, person. All right, so... Um, can you please show us live how to apply out the exfoliating all right so listen um Afine, if you want to know how to exfoliate your skin go on my channel page click on playlist and click on 25 day skincare challenge 25 day new 25 day skincare challenge day two you're gonna have the second video on under new 25 day skincare challenge watch that because it's an entire hour showing you and teaching you how to exfoliate the skin an entire hour playlist new playlist 25 day skincare challenge check it out and you learn all as a matter of fact i'm inviting you to join our 25 day skincare challenge today is day seven can you believe we're at day seven already how many are you watching well i leave that for later to ask how many of you are seeing results so far so join us tonight 7 7 p.m eastern for our 25 day skincare challenge day seven day seven now let's continue with natural ways 
to live a tighten and firm the skin julie how are you welcome to our live and you're watching from tanzania welcome welcome who else is here new that we need to give our shout out to veronica welcome to the live and we also have beautiful love um welcome to our live if you are here and you're new, comment, 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 so we can give you your shout out. Feel free to ask whatever question you have on skincare. Go ahead and ask. Um, any question for lip thin tightening and firming the skin? We're here to take today. Elizabeth, I did give you your um, new here. I think I did already give you um, your shout out. All right, so if you have any question on skincare, even if it had nothing to do with lifting and tightening and firming the skin, go ahead and comment. I message a few minutes every, I massage a few minutes, and I'm going to put this one up. I massage a few minutes every morning for a longer massage. I wash my face, put oils on, get in bed, and massage before going to sleep. And this is the way to go. And a thin, what, a, have sheen i think watching from toronto now let's talk a little bit about using beauty tools on the skin when we talk about natural ways to lift tighten and firm the skin this comes in many different ways you can actually use a beauty tool at home to lift tighten and firm the skin and how are you going to do that you're going to use beauty tools such as like a go shop that's a simple one there's an easy one if you do not know what the gosha is it's a small um pear um pear shape i would say pear shaped tool normally make out of jade or rose quarter something like that and you can just use it and massage your face how to give your face that natural lift and we're gonna have a live show demonstrating some of these tools so check us out for our 25 day skincare challenge i normally keep my gosha on my dex but i think um jill will be proud of me if you see my dex right now dex is nice and clean so uh, no gosha but that's the thing when i try to keep it nice and clean there's no tools on it but yes you can use some of those beauty tools to lift tighten and firm the skin and also some of them give instant glow instant face or lift now let's continue tension 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 how many of you tend to walk around all frowning all like you know like a lot of tension like you're not happy like you know things is weighing you down and oh all of that could actually make you look older did you know that did you know that when you frown a lot, when you are just sulky looking, when you, you know, everything is a bother, do you know it age you? Yes. So another way to lift tighten and firm the skin is to release some of that tension, believe it or not, release some of that tension because some of the time we would think that, um, we would think that, um, the face itself, you know, is just, just as is we're not thinking that if we're not happy if we're stressed out if everything is a bother we're not thinking that it is putting years on us but it is think about any time in your life that you have gone through a series of stress or things wasn't going right and just think about how your face look most of the time the first thing you're going to notice is your eyes it's going to shrunk like deep in your head like that yes but if you put yourself at a happy place, and I know this day, uh, please show us the go shop. I'm gonna show it another day because I don't have it in view here. I took it off my desk, but I'll put it back. Come tomorrow, we're gonna have a show and I just will show it. Yeah, so what I was saying is that put yourself in a happy place. I know we're talking about facial lip, but this also have a lot to do with how you look. How many of you can put yourself in a happy place when you're down? How many of you know how to do that? How to put yourself in a happy place? I personally know how to do that because a couple of years ago, I was like really down how things wasn't going, how I want to go, do to, it to go. I was getting all sick from basically stress, even though I didn't know I was getting sick from stress. And I was going to the doctor like every day without even exaggerating. Every day I was sick and they were doing all kinds of tests on me and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me because everything was coming up clean. Everything was coming up clean. 
Lo and behold, do you know what it was? I was stressed out. I was stressed out. And because I was stressed out, it take a toll on like my stomach area. My stomach was like out, out of walk, like really, really out of walk. Until the day I found out that I was stressed out, I decided I don't want to be stressed out anymore. So what I did, I tried to find my happy place. And most of us have some happy place, like something that has happened in your life before that makes you happy. Or even if you're going to go daydream about having an amazing life somewhere, like everything that you want in life that might not be materializing in the present world, you can take yourself there. And I used to do that. I take myself to where I want to be. And that helped me a lot. That helped me a lot. Because anytime I find that I'm going back into that zone, then I would just go to my happy place. And going to your happy place or going to my happy place actually helped my skin, my face, and everything to look radiant and glowing because I'm now at that happy place. So that is also something that you can do for yourself. Try to find that happy place and get to that happy place whenever you're feeling down. And that is going to help you to look amazing. That's going to keep you going. And that's going to actually give your face that youthful appearance. So if you're just joining, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I get that a lot, but people say, I don't look my 54. And we are basically age group, Elena. Yes, I think you are probably just a couple of months more older than I am. All right, so we are moving on. Um, I have a weirdness that add stress. Okay, so try to find that happy place. Try to find that happy place. And as this, believe it or not, if you find that app, just practice it, practice it. You know, a lot of people do meditation. We do meditation. We do all of these things to calm us down. That is a part of it. Just find that happy place. And when you get to that happy place, you stay there and you be happy for a while. And then you, you know, eventually you're going to find out that it helped to ease a lot of stress. All right. So we're moving on. Welcome, Taryn, to the live show. If you're just joining us, we are talking about ways to naturally live, tighten, and firm the skin. What did you miss? We talk about using facial mask to lift, tighten, and firm the skin. We also talk about different ingredients that you can use naturally at home to lift, tighten, and firm. We talk about using a facial cream that is rich in vitamin A, also known as retinol. We also talk about massaging the face to give the face that natural facial lift. So, and also I was just talking about releasing tension because when you have all the tension going on, it creates wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. And it also gives you that deep parentheses and all of that facial muscle tend to affect the way your skin look and you want to release all of that tension, relax your face so that your face could just look more youthful. Loose skin as we age, um is something that's gonna happen our skin is gonna get loose and there's nothing we can do to stop it the only thing that we can do is to slow the process down and when we slow that is the reason why when you are 70 years old you can choose to look um, 60 or, or 55 or 65. When you are 60, you can choose to look 50. Notice that all we can do is to slow it down. We cannot stop it. We are going to age no matter what. No, they're coming very close to uh, finding things to further, further slow that um, age process down. And I normally like to ask people, um, you know, like think, think about people that you know when you were like a kid and think about how they look and you were thinking that they like were really, really old and they wasn't all that old. And now that you are like their age, you're realizing that, but they weren't old, but they look old. And the reason why they look so much older is because they didn't have the, what we have now, to be honest, they didn't have the internet. They did not have the internet. The internet changed a lot of things. The internet changed my life. The internet changed my life tremendously. And I'm, sh I'm sure the internet changed most of you guys' life too. And some of you might not even be aware how much the internet has changed your life. You're watching me right now. And you're, um, a lot of you watching me from all over this world. 
all over. Start to comment and let me hear where you're watching from. Start commenting, guys. Start to just write where you're watching from. Just start writing it for me, please. Let me see. We have about 78 people right now still watching. Let me see where you're watching from. Just go ahead and start typing. Now, years ago, I would not have this audience to talk about skincare. Years ago, you couldn't just click on to something and right away you're getting recipes to use to transform your skin, to lift, tighten, and firm your skin. You're getting information that you might not have known that if you want this information, you might have to go to the library or you might have to turn to your encyclopedia and you still wasn't gonna get it in details. Not only that, you're getting this information and you're seeing it live teaching you exactly Exactly how to do that and that is why it makes the internet so amazing and this also contributed contribute widely to why people are looking better you might not believe it but it's the truth people are now open you have a remedy that you use you're watching me from uganda and you're sharing that recipe with me i'm bar Carson from brooklyn new york and i'm sharing another recipe with you that someone else is watching from tanzania sharing a recipe with me that i would not know all the way here in brooklyn new york and now i'm oh, i'm exposed to a wide variety of not only recipes but ingredient ingredient that might have been around but i still didn't know how to use it so now that i have someone from chicago telling me that look you can use let's say some papaya on your skin and someone else from ethiopia telling me you can use some argan oil on your skin then that makes the internet and this is why we're looking better and guess what the next wonderful thing about the internet is that most people nowadays have internet. Most people have some form of an internet and this is how the world has changed and this is how we can share with each other and this is how, this is what makes it great. So here are where some people watching us from right now. So this is what I'm talking about. We have, um, Sunita watching from London. We have Linda watching from Texas. We have Alanda uh, watching from Jamaica. And we also have Jason watching from France. Vasra watching from India. Anjaji Lee, I think, watching from India. Simone Dunn watching from New York. Roxon watching from UK. And we have Judy watching from London. Diana watching from New York. We have um, Teresa and um, um, Cameroon. Carleen watching from Cameroon. You know how I get familiar with Cameroon? And that this is all about the internet also. Do you remember the time when Cameroon came big high up in that football match? That's how I get familiar with Cameroon. Never forget it. Do a whole set of research on Cameroon after that. And see, we have people watching from Cameroon. We have um, Canada. We have Jamaica again. That Jacqueline. Jackie Mom is watching from New York. Teresa is watching from St. Martin. Amistad is watching from the Virgin Island. Dorian watching from Colorado. And we have um, GKN watching from, I'm thinking this is Turkey in the Turkish language. And we also have Linux watching from Louisiana. And we have um, Juliana watching from Texas. Margaret watching from Barbados. Jill is watching from Arizona. And Magdalene is watching from Washington, D.C. So look at that look at that combination right there we are all watching from all over the world some people it's nighttime some people it's daytime grace is watching from south africa and some people is midday but we are all here and we are all learning how to lift, tighten and firm the skin. And we're also sharing our experience. And that is what makes the internet a wonderful thing, like a wonderful thing. If I had the internet when I was a kid, I would have been so happy. I would have been so, so happy. And some of you might be like, what? The internet wasn't around? No, my dear. When I was a kid, you know what they have? How many of you remember? Um, It just went by. The first part something that come on like it was internet and you normally just use that in, in the office. That was, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember what it is, but you do get that computer screen and you, um, and that is when I was like 18, 19, 20, that was word processor. 
How many of you know what the word processor is? The word processor was right before internet. Or I mean, internet was around a long time, but it wasn't for the regular public. Internet was in the army for a long, 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 long time. Yes, but I'm talking about when internet get to, you know, all of us regular people can actually use the internet. Wonderful thing, wonderful thing. It's of its ups and down because sometimes we know too much from the internet, but yes, internet is what brought us all together. And watching from my country, oh, Magdalene, you're from Cameroon? You see, you've been watching this channel for over five years, and this is the first time when I'm knowing that you're from Cameroon. And if I knew you were from Cameroon, I probably would be having some conversation with you because I told you I did a whole research in Cameroon after all of that football and all of that. It's good to know you're from Cameroon. All right, so we are moving on. If you're just watching us, we're sharing tips on how to lift, tighten, and firm the skin. Now, how many of you know about these? Um, they now have some... They normally have it, it's an old thing, but I noticed that it's coming back. Where you have like a little strap thing that you put all the way over your face, all the way up to your head. Yes, those are coming back. I was pleasantly surprised to see them on the market the other day. So you put it all over your head like that, and it's kind of tight, and you go to sleep with it. That have to lift, tighten, and firm the skin naturally while you sleep. Yes, I'm going to see if I can find the link to show you guys. They are back. And I was talking about this a couple of months ago. Well, probably over a year ago. And I was joking about it, not knowing that it is coming back. Where people are now sleeping in this thing. They tie from their chin to prevent sagging jawline. And all the way up to the head is a little tight. You go to sleep with it. And you keep everything in place. That is the natural. How many have tried that or know what I am talking about? If you have, comment, 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 so that you know other people could kind of get an understanding of what I am saying. All right, so let's talk more about some facial lift that you can use. Now, here is another one that I like. And you can use the rice for this one also. You can use the rice flour, blend it to a powder. You can use some papaya in it rice and papaya or cornstarch and papaya those are two other facial lifting remedy that i personally use that i like to lift tighten and firm my skin at home if you try any of mine comment 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 another thing that you can actually use is the cornstarch with some blueberry or the same rice with some blueberry that is another great one because that blueberry is rich in all these natural vitamins that is going to have to lift tighten and affirm the skin so here is a rundown of some of the things that you can do to lift tighten your skin at home number one you can number one you can actually, I'm trying to remember step by step how I, how I lay them out. Okay, so the first thing that you can do is to do a facial mask, an homemade skin tightening facial mask. The next thing that you can do is to wear a facial cream that is rich in a vitamin A. The next thing that you can do is to do a facial massage at night. Massage your face with your moisturizer or an oil that is rich in vitamin A, that is gonna have to lift, tighten, and firm the skin. The next thing that you can do is to wear that thing that I just mentioned, the top part. I'm trying to remember all the tips that I share because I just did not write them down. So, so far, those are four. Try to remind me, guys, of others that I share with you. Now, here are some recipes we have the rice mixed with milk that you're gonna blend you can either choose to boil the cook right do the cook rice or the raw rice you have the cornstarch and that cornstarch you're mixing it with egg white now you have the rice and you can mix that rice with papaya no the flesh of the papaya that is you can also choose to mix it with the cornstarch i have a recipe that i made years ago where i used that cornstarch and that papaya for your facial your forehead wrinkles that is gonna have to get rid of those forehead wrinkles really really quick using the papaya on the skin is always always great for wrinkles and fine lines now um 
try to i'm trying to remember I, you see i i am not so good with notes and normally i come on i know and i i know i already give at least eight and now i can't remember all the eight. Oh, tension tension remember getting rid of the tension that is going to cause your skin to look older so you're going to try to release that tension you are going to try to relax your space you are trying to get rid of everything that is going on and give yourself a glow to the skin that is going to help to lift tighten and firm your skin because it's not and when you release it, you have all those lines. But if you just relax yourself and get yourself to that happy place, that is going to make your face look years younger. Now, here is another tip that I have for you. If you're home and you want a quick fix, a quick, natural lift to the skin, here is something that you can do. You can actually rub some ice on your face. How is that going to help to lift and tighten the skin? Believe it or not, it works. Because when you take that ice cube and you rub it all over, and I suggest that you do this to clean skin. You can make an ice cube, you can use an ice roller, or it's a form of a facial massage, but it's just that you're using it with ice. So you're going to take that ice and you're going to do it upwards, like just the way you're massaging your skin. And this one you do just before you go somewhere, okay? Just before you go out, whether it is AM or PM, you take that ice after you cleanse your skin, you rub it, you rub it on your face, all over your face, and then you pat dry, put your makeup on. If you have, if you're going to wear makeup, if you're not going to wear makeup, then you just take a little bit of a moisturizer and you apply it to your face. It's going to give your face that flush look. It's going to give your face that flush appearance. And that is exactly how you want your face to look when you want your face to look younger. I'm trying to read something and talk to you guys and I can't read it. I just, I am, I'm telling you, I am so lousy with notes. I think I put some notes here and now I'm running back to the notes and I can't read the notes because I'm just not used to reading the notes. So anyway, let me get back to talking like I normally talk without those notes. So eight natural ways to give yourself a facial lip at home. Oh, the beauty tools. I mentioned using the beauty tools to lift your face like the gosha. We also have like the derma roller that you can use to lift and tighten the skin. Now, let me go back and think of another one that I talk. And if you're watching and you remember some of the things I mentioned, go ahead and comment because right now I am not bringing up all of what I said and I'm trying to find them. So I know sometimes I do way more than eight and Jason was trying to list some. I think if Claudia was here, Claudia would know all, all everything that I said. But anyway, guys, you can actually go on my channel page and there's a playlist that have facial lift recipes that you can follow. Definitely scroll down through that playlist, find a topic that you like, find a topic that you have all a uh, recipe that you have all the ingredients, and then you're gonna make it and use it on the skin. Since my husband expired in co oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, let me see this one. Um, I start getting wrinkles under my eyes. Please suggest what I do. Any remedy? Yes, we have a lot. And for me, I use a lot of remedies under my eyes. Now, one of my favorite that I personally use is parsley. And I mix the parsley with a wide variety of ingredients. I have a playlist on the channel page. And on the, the front of the playlist, you're going to see petroleum jelly with parsley. That's another one that I use also, especially at night. Because the petroleum jelly, I fill it up with the parsley and I could add a little bit of a kiwi oil or a little cucumber seed oil. Not telling you to run and buy anything that you don't have, but the parsley for leave on works well. You can also blend some parsley with some cucumber juice and um, tip a little bit of any of your face, a little almond oil or a little coconut oil in it. Get some cotton pot, cover your face with your eyes with it. Leave it on for at least 30 minutes to so make sure when you're going to do it, you're totally relaxed. So just lean back, 
at least 30 minutes, then you remove it. And then at night, you can use some of those parsley cream that we make on the channel page. The only one I can remember right off the back, because we have so many that are so good that I use, but the parsley with the Vaseline works really, really well. So here's what you do. You blend that parsley. You put a little rose water when you're blending the parsley because the parsley don't have a lot of juice. So you put a little rose water, you blend it, you strain it. Once you strain it, then you are going to melt that petroleum jelly. When you melt the petroleum jelly, if you have aloe vera gel, the store-bought aloe vera gel, that jelly-like one, they're going to take a little bit of that. You're going to mix it in that petroleum jelly. When you mix that out, it's going to become creamy consistency. And then you pour that um, parsley liquid in it and you blend it in. You blend it in like that. When you do it like that, everything is going to blend. You hear they say you can mix oil with water, but if you use that petroleum jelly as the mediator, not the petroleum jelly, the aloe vera gel as the mediator is going to make all of that blend together nice and creamy and do a little dab of that under your eyes at night. But you got to make sure to clean under your eyes. It's very important to clean your under eyes so that the beauty, whatever you're using, work better. If you do not know how to clean your eyes, check out our 25 Day Skincare Challenge or just join our 25 Day Skincare Challenge. We're going to be on tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We share exactly how to take care of your eyes on the channel. We go deep into that. So check us out. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. However, try that recipe. And if you do not have those ingredients, go on the playlist, Dark Circles, Puffy Eyes and Eye Bags. That's the name of the playlist. And choose any one of those recipes with parsley. All right, guys. Um, that is my time tonight, today, today, today. And work best for massaging, yes. Can we, we do it before bed? And I guess you're talking about massaging the face. Yes, most people tend to massage the face before bed. And if you're talking about the ice, it's best to do the ice in the daytime when you're up and about. You could do it before bed, but it's best to do it in the morning to wake your skin up. And if you have somewhere to go to, then you can do it right before. Taryn, I see Jason add all the tools to look good. Yes, yes, yes. And one of Jason's going to come on our our 25 day skincare challenge live all right um alanda i use egg white face mask try the egg white face mask with the recipe that i shared if you do that you're on your way to something different to transforming your skin that is going to help tremendously now let's see who else is here i'm trying to take all the questions before i run off um Okay, the 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 never tried it. The chin strap, it's what they're calling it. Yes, the the chin strap, the one they use over to to um to lift the 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 jawline and also the chin area at night. That is now very much out there, and people are using it like old time. They just make them a little fancy. I'm older, Chichi. I remember. Okay, um, Serene Silver. Welcome to the live. My godson say it's what you all are knowing. <laughs> okay, I have to laugh at this one. So uh, uh, my grandson say is what you all have no internet? <laughs> no, we didn't have internet at all. It's so funny that um, it's funny that they're not gonna understand what it is like to have no internet. They will not understand what that is like. Jackie mom, put two slices of cucumber and put them all over your eyes to deep up. Cucumber still work, still work and is very, very, very good for deep puffing the eyes. All right, guys, let me um go right now because the show is over, but I wanna see something on my notes that, um. Cabbage and honey was on my notes for skin tightening. And I have a recipe, guys, um, for skin tightening using cabbage. I think I have two. If you have not tried cabbage on your skin, guys, you should definitely go and try it, okay? And check out my recipe with it. And if you're not sure about cabbage, go and read up on it, the benefit of cabbage for your skin. I have that on my notes to talk about. Let me see what else I have on my notes. I have um, honey, blueberry, and avocado. Honey, blueberry, and avocado, those were 
three ingredients that you can mix with the cornstarch, the egg white, and also the flour. Any one of those you're using, you can add a little honey, you can add a little blueberry, and you can also have a little bit of uh, avocado. Okay, here is one thing that I have on my notes that I didn't mention, exercising the skin, exercising the face. Exercise in the face, similar to massaging, a little bit of a different. That is on my thing, um, my 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 notes. No, um, and also I was sharing about loose skin. Loose skin is not only on your face, but loose skin also is on the entire body, like your buttocks, your stomach areas, your 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 arms, and and all of that. And a good choice of firming cream is any kind of cream with retinol. So those are some of the things I have on my note that I didn't um, talk about. And I also went a little further and I talk about. Um, using uh, the facial procedure, the surgical procedure, which I think I mentioned a little bit about it at the top of the hour. I was gonna talk a little bit more about it, why people do it and all of that, but I choose to skip over that because since we're just gonna talk about the natural way, I think people didn't want much to hear much about surgical procedure, why people do it and how much it benefit or not benefit the skin. So those are some of my notes and I did well without the notes. So thank you for joining guys. Watch me tomorrow. I'll be more prepared guys. <laughs> Come tomorrow and for our daytime sweet days with Chichi Beauty. And guess what guys, we're going to be on tonight. Tonight is the night. Tonight I'm excited to be on the 25 Day Skincare Challenge, day seven. If you have not yet been a part of that sign up for it all you have to do is come on over at 7 p.m and send to us at chichibeauty at gmail.com for the printout or send to or go on my website chichibeauty.com for the printout of the 25 day skincare challenge right after this video in the next hour at 3 3 p.m today i'm going to post an anti aging facial moisturizer this anti-aging facial moisturizer i'm using like aloe vera gel in it and i'm making it in a special way i'm mixing it with oil but you're going to see how i mix the oil i'm basically showing you how you can mix the aloe vera gel with the oils and the rose water and all of that to make this amazing anti-aging moisturizer three o'clock we're going to post it so look out for that when you see that video watch it leave a comment and i want you to leave the comment that you watch this daytime show okay just watch your show today i'm here for this video that's all we need you to post under there just watch your show today i'm here for this video or you could put watch the eight natural ways for face lip and i'm here today any comment like that go ahead and comment all right now why am i doing all these kind of different different little commenting and all of that is because we're just a few um months away from the big holidays and this time i want to start early like with our gift giving we're not gonna just center it around just people that just come on to watch that the gift giving so we're taking from now we start that over a month now i keep telling you either comment this or say that or whatever whatever because that's where we're picking our names from and if people miss this show then they miss this show so that is why we're doing this to be fair to you know for people watching over a period of time so anytime i come on the show and i'm telling you go comment here go comment there or whatever and i'm telling you what to comment it is for a reason that's my time today guys thank you so much for watching and what join me tomorrow look up for that 3 p.m video today and come back tonight at 7 p.m for our 25 day skincare challenge be good to yourself and i'll see you soon Bye bye